This is the smartest AI in the world. Like Grok Poor is postgraduate, like PhD level in everything. Better than PhD, but like most PhDs would fail. With respect to academic questions, Grok Poor is better than PhD level in every subject, no exceptions. You know, at times it may lack common sense and it has not yet invented new technologies or discovered new physics, but that is just a matter of time. Um, if it, I, I think it may discover new technologies uh, as soon as later this year, um, and I, I would be shocked if it has not done so next year. Grok 4 just dropped only July 9th, and the AI world has completely lost its mind. Tim Sweeney, CEO of Epic Games, just declared it artificial general intelligence. Industry insiders are calling it the iPhone moment for AI reasoning. But what happened behind the scenes at Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic when Grok 4's benchmarks leaked? This isn't just another incremental update. What XAI just released fundamentally changes the game, and here's why even OpenAI employees are reportedly having emergency meetings. At the same time, it's not the LLM we are going to switch for in terms of business usage. Claude and GPT is still better at practicing use cases, all this and more explained in today's video. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Let me start with the numbers that have everyone freaking out. 88% on GPQA Diamond, beating Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro at 84%, all-time high on humanity's last exam, the test designed to be unsolvable, joint highest scores on MMLU Pro, crushing academic benchmarks, leading both intelligence and coding indices, and the coding-specific version isn't even out yet. But here's what the headlines aren't telling you. These aren't just marginal improvements. Grok 4 isn't beating other models by a few percentage points. It's demonstrating entirely new capabilities that shouldn't be possible. Everyone's focusing on the benchmarks, but they're missing the real story. Grok 4, Heavy isn't one AI. It's four separate AI agents working in parallel, then collaborating to give you the best possible answer. Think about this. When you ask Grok 4 Heavy a complex question, four different AI minds analyze your prompt simultaneously. Each agent approaches the problem from a different angle, works through solutions independently. Then they conference together like a team of PhD researchers to synthesize the optimal response. This is fundamentally different from how every other AI works. While OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic are building bigger single models, AI cracked the code on AI collaboration. Let me show you what this actually means in practice. Test one, the Walmart economics experiment. Tim Hua, a former Walmart economist, gave every major AI model a 300 word complex economics problem based on real Walmart data. Previous models could solve one or two parts of the four part solution. Grok 4 got three out of four parts correct Correct, delivering a 1,400 word response that was better than any other model. Test two, the physics simulation breakthrough. Users are uploading screenshots from SpaceX presentations and asking Grok 4 to simulate space missions. It's creating full 3D physics simulations, complete with orbital mechanics, satellite trajectories, and realistic textures from a single photograph and it's running these simulations live in your browser. Test three, the hexagon physics test. This is the test that breaks most AI models. Grok 4 passed it flawlessly, accurately simulating balls bouncing in a hexagon with perfect physics, collision detection, and realistic movement patterns. 
Here's where it gets interesting. Grok 4 is slower than some competitors, 75 tokens per second compared to O3's 188. But here's the thing, users are reporting they prefer Grok 4's thoughtful responses over faster, less accurate ones. This mirrors a broader shift in user psychology. A study by yep.ai gathered 6,000 human preference data points in 36 hours. Despite Grok 4 being slower, users rated the quality so highly that speed became secondary. It's like the difference between a rushed conversation and a thoughtful discussion with an expert. Which would you prefer? Behind Grok 4's power is something unprecedented. XAI's Memphis Supercomputer Cluster, built at breakneck speed by industry standards. But here's the kicker that has competitors sweating. Musk just announced they're training Grok 5 on 100,000 NVIDIA GB200 chips. For context, that's more raw computing power than most countries have access to. No other company has announced anything close to this scale. And they're calling it Colossus 2, a cluster designed to scale to 1 million GPUs. The infrastructure advantage is becoming insurmountable. Developers are reporting something unprecedented. You can paste your entire code base into Grok 4 and it will debug, optimize, and improve it better than specialized coding tools like Cursor. Elon demonstrated this live, claiming it works better than Cursor. Within hours, Cursor added Grok 4 to their platform. Even competitors are admitting defeat and integrating XAI's model. The coding-specific version isn't even released yet. That's coming next month. Even though there are some glowing reviews of the model so far, users report that Grok 4 gets markedly dumber in longer conversations. And there are concerning reports about it defaulting to Elon Musk's viewpoints on controversial topics. I have seen this happen myself when we've tested it, and currently I wouldn't trade GPT-4 or Claude for Grok 4. We still prefer Claude and GPT in the integrations we build and the automations we run at first movers. For example, this entire script was built with the help of Claude. If I tried to build it with Grok, it wouldn't have come out nearly as good. We have a trained Claude project that sounds just like Julia, trained on 50,000 words she has written and said. Claude's LLM is so good at copywriting. Nothing comes close, in Julia's opinion. Here's the pricing that has everyone talking. Grok 4, $30 per month, Super Grok Plan. Grok 4 Heavy, $300 per month, for agent collaboration. Compare to Claude 4, Opus, and O3 Pro at significantly higher per token costs. But here's the real disruption. Grok 4 offers better performance at a fraction of the cost of competing models. This isn't just a technical win, it's an economic moat. Within 48 hours of Grok 4's release, something unprecedented happened. Google snatched the CEO and technology behind Windsurf a Cursor competitor that OpenAI had agreed to buy for $3 billion just two months ago. This wasn't planned. This was a panic response to Grok 4's coding capabilities, threatening Google's developer tools business. Here's what all this means in practical terms for you right now. If you're a developer, start experimenting with Grok 4 for code review and debugging. The early reports suggest it's already superior to specialized tools. If you're a researcher, the multi-agent reasoning is producing insights single models simply cannot achieve. This could accelerate your work significantly. If you're a business owner, Grok 4's combination of performance and price point makes it viable for enterprise applications that were previously too expensive. If you're an investor, the infrastructure advantage and multi-agent approach suggest XAI might be building an unassailable competitive moat. Consider this progression. 2023, XAI founded months after ChatGPT's debut. 2024, Grok 3 competitive with established models. 2025, Grok 4 leading most benchmarks. Next, Grok 5 training on unprecedented compute scale.
XAI went from zero to industry leading in less than two years. If this pace continues, the AI landscape could look completely different by the end of 2025. While everyone debates whether we have AGI yet, XAI quietly solved a more immediate problem. How do you make AI systems that can truly reason and collaborate? The answer isn't bigger single models. It's specialized AI agents working together, each bringing different strengths to complex problems. This approach mirrors how humans actually solve difficult problems through collaboration, different perspectives, and iterative refinement. Based on industry whispers, GPT-5 might only be a tad better than Grok-4 on internal evaluations, but GPT-5 is still a single model approach. If multi-agent systems prove superior, and early evidence strongly suggests they will, OpenAI's entire strategy might need a fundamental rethink. Meanwhile, XAI is already training Grok5 on that massive compute cluster. Grok4 isn't just the best AI model released this year. It's a proof of concept for an entirely different approach to artificial intelligence, one based on collaboration rather than singular intelligence. The multi-agent architecture, unprecedented compute infrastructure, and rapid development timeline suggest we're entering a new phase of AI development where the winners won't just be those with the most data or biggest models, but those who can make AI systems work together most effectively. And if XAI can maintain this pace while their competitors are still building single models, we might be looking at artificial general intelligence much sooner than anyone expected. The AI landscape just fundamentally shifted. If you want to stay ahead of what's coming next in this new multi-agent world, hit subscribe because what we've seen with Grok4 is just the beginning. I believe the next 12 months are going to rewrite everything we thought we knew about artificial intelligence. What do you think? Is the multi-agent approach the real path to AGI or just clever engineering? Drop your thoughts below. I read every comment. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D-Labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10-minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, we're not just teaching theories, we're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs. Subscribe if you want to understand the paradox that will reshape human civilization, because I believe those who see it coming will inherit the world that emerges from the collapse. I'll see you down the next rabbit hole.